chillin' in your brand new Me by scare you shut so baby let me get you down Shawty let me get you with the pit pot Girl you the hot sauce let me go and drip you down I can't believe I'm about to put myself on the internet looking like this I don't even know if y'all can hear me because my phone is next to a bed So if you can't hear me, my apologies I'm doing this tutorial because my aunt wants to see how I attach my hair because she's going to do my cousin's hair on the weekend so I was just like I'm not gonna be around that long for you to see me because she was there when I was getting a pre-section that asked my cousin to do that so she got that done for me but she wasn't able to see the actual install so I was just like say less I'll make a video and I'll send it to you and she says as long as I have it before Friday so I'm like okay do what works for your hair length your hair time my hair is not long it's also not thick so I don't need a lot of coverage with this hair. So if it's like thin, I honestly just split it in the middle. So this is gonna serve for two individual locks. If it's a lot thicker, I don't want it to be too bulky. So what I'll do is I'll wrap it, I'll do it in thirds. Each is own, so whichever one is more comfortable for you, then you will do that one. So all I'm doing putting the crocheting needle through the hoop and sometimes make sure it's like dead ass center because if you go and you let's say get a piece of it like it can cause problems so like and separation it's not going to look cute so make sure like you're dead center and what I'm just going to do is latch it onto my natural hair put my natural hair through and instead of looping it through the roots of my hair, I'm just going to go down a few inches and put it through my, I'm putting, I'm putting it through the braid or plait, whatever you want to call it, and then slide that through. So it's still secure. However, it's not going to be as bulky at the roots of my head. What I like to do is just wrap the excess piece so it's not as bulky. Then for the pieces that I made, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of stretch. I'm not gonna use the crochet needle to put it through my hair. Instead, I'm just gonna hold it next to my hair. I still want enough of this wrapping hair to be a slightly below where my natural hair is showing. All I'm going to do is use my pointer finger as a guide and snatch to the roots of my hair and then I'm just going to wrap it. I'm going to wrap it a couple times to secure it at the root, about three or four times. And then what I'm doing after is I'm gradually going down while I wrap. So I'm gradually moving the hair down. Still trying to keep it flat and smooth. That way it's not all rolly and bubbly. Basically, this is what I do. Once I go down to where the hair is combined, I wrap it a little bit tighter because I want it to be snug. I don't want that bulge to see where the, the loop is. And once I get to this part, like as you can see, this is the part where I separated. Like if it's gonna be a case where it's gonna be too far, I join it with this piece and then I start wrapping again. If I know my hair is already covered and I don't want it to be like all the way down here, what I typically do is I'll just start wrapping upwards. So I'll go back up. Then just for added security, I just like it. And there you have it. So that's one way. I'll do the other, just so you can see. Same process, but the only difference is I'm actually gonna put it through the root up here, which is the method a lot of people use or still use. The reason why I don't do it like that is because doing it like this creates a lot more tension on the roots. And it's also bulky. Like, I can choose to hold it like this, but as you can see, like, the hair is low. Tripled in size, so the root is like this. 
and crochet in his bow. You'd loop your hair through, you'd loop your loop through, and you'd still just wrap it around. You might have to do this a couple more times just because it's a lot more hair at the base to get covered. So be the one in well, this one is just a lot stiffer than this one at the roots at least but either one is fine so I'll be back when my hair is done. So this is the final product. It's been a few days and I will not complain on the boho in that I've had boho type styles before and it would have been a whole lot messier than it is. There are a few knots here and there but nothing too serious so I appreciate that. This is the full length, like it's waist length. These are my parts. Kind of crisp. So if you have someone to pre-section your hair for you, don't struggle, girl. It's not that I couldn't do it. It's just that it would have taken a lot longer. You can do a half a half down style like this. Have a few of the curly pieces hanging down so it can be real cute. You know what I mean? Put it like this. I like when my hair is kind of up. So like, I think this is kind of cute. Like, <laughs> if you don't think it's cute, then that's fine. That is fine. So yeah, that's all I have for you today.